since this is cheap angler fishing and I'm always fishing on a budget, uh, well, in reality, the budget's not just about mon money. The budget is about budgeting your time as well. And for me, fishing in the winter time, uh, that's the most difficult thing about fishing in the winter. It's not the cold weather because we don't really get cold weather here. Um, it is 355 right now. It gets dark by six o'clock. I am not a nighttime fisherman, so I don't fish after it gets dark. I just don't, unless I'm throwing bait for catfish or reds or something at the lake. Uh, I don't fish at night. So as soon as it gets dark, that's it for me. So winter time, that's the biggest challenge because it, in the summer it doesn't get dark till almost nine. In a couple of days there where it's nine o'clock. In the winter it gets dark at six. So I get off work at 3.30, I get home about this time and I drop my phone. And uh, yeah, that means it's four o'clock now. I've got two hours to find a place to fish and to catch fish. So that's the challenge for today. I mean, the, the it did get cold. It's about 30 degrees warmer now than it was last night and this morning. Uh, there was ice on my truck this morning. Uh, right now it's about 65 degrees. This morning it was about 35. And uh, yeah, so that weather changing like that, if it was consistently cold or consistently warm, it would be, fishing would be fine. But since the weather in Texas is constantly back and forth, at least the weather here, that makes it a little more, bit more difficult, but people are still catching fish. I don't know about today, but people are still out there catching fish. So I'm going to find a place to fish. I'm going to decide what gear to use. And I've got two hours to get there and catch a fish before the sun goes down. So that's what today's video is. Uh, this is the real, this is Texas winter fishing where you're scrambling for time. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to get changed out of my work clothes with the magic of editing, so, and there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing my Runkle hat. I'm gonna be throwing Runkle swim baits, which might not be the ideal bait for this situation, but I'm gonna go minimal. Uh, I'm running on such short amount of time, I don't wanna be digging around through all my different lures and stuff. So I'm choosing my lure now before I even see what the conditions are like out there. I'm gonna be throwing them on a jig head, that way I can fish it kind of slow and drag it across the bottom like a jig and I think that's what's gonna work uh, maybe even dead sticking it and I'm only going with one rod uh, minimal gear and just trying to do this as quickly as possible so let's get to it okay well uh, another challenge for today is that uh, since I'm show so short on time I'm I'm gonna go to the closest place to me that I can fish and now the closest place is definitely never the best place. It's just not. That's, that's almost a fact of life. Uh, but I have had a lot of luck at this creek in the past. It's been a while since I've caught anything there. Anything worthwhile anyway. Uh, it's been a while since I've even caught even a small bass. Just no bass in general lately. But that's the goal for today is in the next two hours to get to this creek and find at least one bass but I mean I honestly I'd be happy with with some green sunfish because I know for sure those are in there and they kind of took over but uh, yeah so that's that's the big challenge for today it is uh, it's been about 10 minutes now since I started the video it was 355 when I started it's 405 now 65 degrees on my mirror it was 35 this morning and uh, yeah so it's it's really not that cold it actually just went up to 66 it's gotten a little bit warmer uh, so hopefully that's that's gonna wake up the fish and get them a little bit more active and by wake up I mean that figuratively there's some people out there on YouTube that don't understand what figures of speech are uh, I don't mean they're actually asleep I mean they're just sluggish and slow and when it's cold so hopefully with the warmer temperatures and sun coming out, it's going to warm up the water a little bit. Because there's no deep water around here for one. It's nothing but shallow water. So shallow water warms up faster. So uh, what I'm hoping is that the sun coming out is going to warm up the shallow water and they're going to be active. And hopefully they're going to be chasing bait fish in the shallows. Uh, 
If not, then I, I'm just not going to catch anything and you won't be seeing this, so it's pointless to, to say this. So, if you're watching this right now, I definitely caught something in this video. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I just left the house. I'm already almost there, so let's get to it. All right, all of these are Runkle swim baits. I've mixed them all up. Got the ProBite baits over here and then the Anchor Box swim baits over here. Got a little tiny jig head. It's really too small for some of these, but it's ideal for the others. And uh, normally when I'm at this creek, there's there's a spot down towards the end of the creek that I always want to try to get to. Uh, let's see how the water clarity it is actually. It is super cloudy and super dark. There's no clarity over here, but that's not unusual I would like for it to be a little bit clearer but uh, it'll probably be a little bit clearer further up and as I was saying like normally when I get here that spot down at the end that's always a spot that I've always had the best luck and I always tell myself I'm gonna just cut, cut straight to it but I end up stopping at all the little holes and all the spots all the way over there and by the time I get there I run out of time and can't fish it and I end up getting skunked because I spent so much time chasing fish in these other areas and there aren't any there so so today I'm I'm actually well I'm gonna try my hardest to skip over these places got to use all my willpower every ounce of it to skip over these spots and get to that that end that last spot and I'm probably gonna get some skunk there too and just work my way back so that way I don't have such a long walk back to the truck uh, this is the color I've got rigged up jig head I'm using is really way too small for this but it's all right I'm still gonna I still have success on it even with the jig head being too small but I think this is the color that's really gonna work today so this is what I'm going with and uh, it's a pretty versatile bait I mean if I need if I want to swim fast and have a moving bait I can do that or I can drag it across the bottom real slow like a jig so there is something living here there's the swirls all over the place here so here's hoping for some bass oh had a bite right away right there as soon as i hit the water but that was probably a sunfish i'm gonna move down where the water's moving a little bit more hopefully there won't be so much algae and gunk to be bringing in i always say once you start finding these lying around that's it for your fishing spot and uh, who knows how long these have been here, but the surprisingly thing is these are still alive. <laughs> well, if I don't catch anything on the lures, maybe I'll throw these. So many things get snagged on though, because there's so much debris that gets flooded. It's washed through here every time it floods. You can see all the trees are just covered in trash and debris and furniture and everything. Oh, something's got it already. But I pulled it out of his mouth. There we go. I got something. There, it's fighting nicely, but it's not, I don't think it's that big. But it's a bass. There we go. It's been so long since I've caught a bass out of this creek. There we go. This is not the worst looking bass either. It looks pretty good actually. It looks pretty healthy. A nice little largemouth. Give myself a try to get myself a picture here. Then I'll let him go. See how that come out. Here we go. It's not big by any means, but it's a nice, healthy fish, and it's cold, too. The water's pretty cold. So, the fact that I was able to get a bite on with this, and I was actually retrieving it, too. It wasn't just crawling it on the bottom, so. It shows that Texas fish don't always follow, follow the typical fall patterns, fall and winter patterns like they, like they do in other places. For the size of that fish, he put up a really good fight, and he was fat. He was maybe... <laughs> nine ten inches at the most but he 
probably weighed almost a pound. Such a great looking spot right here. This, if I had more time, I would probably catch more fish, especially in the warmer part of the day. Like this just, this is too nice of a spot not to be holding any bass. And upstream from here, I caught one. So we know there's bass in this creek still. It's just, whoa. There's a big crane that just scared the crap out of me. I don't know if y'all saw that, but apparently he was right there in that tree the whole time I was talking. That the tree was falling on me. I really need to get moving though. This spot, as great as this spot looks, I've never caught a bass right here. Plenty of sunfish, some big sunfish. I, I found a minnow trap full of bluegill one day. And yeah, but just no, no bass. I don't know what it is about this particular spot. It's, it should be loaded with bass because it's cut off up there and it's cut off back there. So the bass should be stacking up in it. I don't know if you guys can see all this traffic that keeps passing by. But if it's that bad like that, then the highway and even my drive home is going to be packed. It's 5.59. So I've been out here for a little less than two hours. And I got a... Ah, I had a bite there. I had one on the line, but I... Missed him. So a little bit less than two hours. It's already getting just a little bit too dark to see. I'm not sure what the camera can pick up right now. It looks like just a black screen from where I'm at. Yeah, I did catch one. That was my goal, was to catch one in the, this such a short amount of time. And uh, yeah, it was a bass too. I would have been happy with sunfish, honestly, but I didn't even catch any sunfish. It's weird. I had a bunch of bites. I'm still getting bites, but I only landed the one. I had that one solid hit. Everything else is just nibbles. Nothing else came close to taking the hook. And with that, I'm gonna call it a night. And go home and start warming up again. It's, not, it's still not cold, but it's about to get cold. So if you want to check out these baits, these baits have been killing it for me all year. Check them out on Amazon. They're from Runkle. I've got a link in the description. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I usually don't say it, but hit the notification bell because that's apparently how YouTube's algorithm runs now is based on the notification bells instead of anything else. So support your favorite loot YouTubers, whether it's subscribing, liking, hitting the notification, checking out the Amazon links. Those are all things that are gonna help out their channels. So even if you hate me and you hate my channel, go to your favorite YouTubers and do it for them. So thanks for watching. See you next time.